Hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, so I have two messages, but I'm going to break them up. So this will be the first message. Um, but I want to tell you that, you know, every single day, the situation that's going on in my life, every time I turn to the verse of the day and I read like two, three, four chapters or listen to it, it is literally my life. That is how God is working. So every time there's a question or a comment or just anybody speaking about something, whether it's false prophets or just whatever, it's just like, it speaks to me every time. Someone asked me an animal question the other day. Um, and then I found after reading the verse of the day, it went into Zephaniah. I don't even, I didn't even know that was in there, guys. So I say, if you don't know me, I don't know a lot of scriptures. Um, so the Lord gives me everything. Um, I pray about it and it's kind of like a soft whisper. It's hard to explain, but, um, and then with scripture, you always test scriptures guys, because there are a lot of false prophets out there. And I always pray in my head because Satan knows scriptures too. And if you see prophecies coming true from somebody who's not really sharing God's word, be leery because Satan knows how it ends as well. So, okay. This is what I got. First, I got scriptures. Ezekiel 10, Ezekiel 10, 13. When the cherubim stopped, the wheels stopped. When they flew upward, the wheels rose up for the spirit of the living beings was in the wheels. I don't know what that means, but maybe you guys do know. <laughs> Ezekiel eleven seven. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. The city is an iron pot. All right. But the pieces of meat are the victims of your injustice. As for you, I will soon drag you from this pot. Galatians 3, 9. So all who put their faith in Christ share the same blessing Abraham received because of his faith. Ephesians 3, 21. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. Genesis 6, 14. Build a large boat from a cypress wood and waterproof it with tar inside and out. Then construct decks and stalls throughout its interior. Philippians 4.19, and this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs from his glorious riches, which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. Revelation 9.13, then the sixth angel blew his trumpet and I heard a voice speaking from the four horns of the gold altar that stands. Revelation 13.6, and he spoke terrible words of blasphemy against God, slandering his name and dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven. Revelation... 13 6 and he spoke terrible words of blasphemy against god slandering did i see that one already slandering his name and his dwelling that is those who dwell in heaven i may have repeated this one revelation 13 9 anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand ephesians 2 4 but god is so rich in mercy and he loved us so much first john three fourteen. if we love our brothers and sisters who are believers who are believers okay Ecclesiastes one seventeen. So I set out to learn everything from wisdom to madness and folly, but I learned firsthand that pursuing all this is like chasing the wind. So guys, he gave me these messages at the same time, but I'm breaking it up. So some of these scriptures may apply to the second part of the message, which will be part two. Okay, here is his message. And guys, destruction is coming. I don't know when. He hasn't let me know when, but I can tell in my spirit it's very urgent. So he said, my destruction is coming. My fire will spread through the cities. You will be in terror. I won't hear you. The end is coming. Bow down and repent and come to me. My patience has withered. My anger and wrath are pouring out. There's more to come. Babylon will fall. America will be destroyed. I will save you. If you come to me, repent and worship me. I will forgive you. I will destroy your idols. Stop worshiping Baal. My will will be done. America has bowed down to evil. Their abomination of lies has deceived my children. Satan worshiping an evil practice of human sacrifices has destroyed my children. My spirit is strong. Listen to my prophets. Every city will be destroyed. Floods, fires, pestilence, plagues, famines and earthquakes. Destruction will come. No eyes has seen. Angels will come out of the abyss. Locusts will swarm with lion teeth and tails with stingers like scorpions will torture you for five months. You wish to seek death, but you won't find it. Listen to my true prophets. You will know them by their fruits. Time is almost up. 
I love all my children. Believe and repent and I will forgive you. Matthew 26, 7. While he was eating, a woman come in with a beautiful alabaster jar of expensive perfume and poured it over his head. Colossians 3.17 And whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. 1 Peter 2.9 But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people who you are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of, the, of God, for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. Okay, and then he gave me 1 Corinthians 3.7 it's not important who does the planting or who does the watering. What's important is that God makes the seed grow. Ephesians 3.11, this was the eternal plan which he carried out through Christ Jesus our Lord. Ephesians 3.13, so please don't lose heart because of my trials here. I'm suffering for you so you should feel honored. So like I said, guys, um, he's getting angrier. And, you know, he started these messages a couple days ago. And, um... He hadn't finished yet, so now he's letting me know to release it. The other one is about the Cabal takedown. So um, definitely listen to part two of this message because, I, like I said, I think some of the scriptures might go in with the other one too. So um, just listen to it. And guys, be, be very leery out there because there are um, wolves in sheep clothing. I mean, I think, you know, the Lord put it on my heart that Maybe these people were chosen at first, you know, to be prophets of God. And then somehow they got deceived and teaching some wrong things. So just always get into his word, but always go to him, guys. That's the first thing, you know, stop listening to man so much. I mean, it's okay to listen to preachers and, you know, get glorify him and, and get in his word. He wants you to do all that, but he wants you to seek him first because, you know, man doesn't know everything and he can tell you things. Ask him to keep pouring his spirit out in you. Ask him to baptize you with the fire and the Holy Spirit. If you haven't gotten it yet, ask him every day. Ask him every day. What does he say? He says, um, keep seeking and knocking and the door will be open to you or you will find. Um, guys, I don't know a lot of scriptures, okay? I don't know. I read the Bible three and a half times now my whole life because I got saved at 28 and I didn't memorize anything or study anything because there was a point where I didn't even understand what I was reading it was it was just a lot for me and I remember you know I'd read a couple pages and then I'd just be like I'd pray to Jesus I said Jesus you know I want to understand you I want to learn your word you know I went to bible studies to help me understand um but now he's giving me everything that I need. I went to him with childlike faith and asked him for everything. And he is literally giving me all my scriptures. I mean, some of these things are just blowing my mind, to be honest. And, you know, there's sometimes when I post a video, I feel his spirit very strong and urgent and trying to get the message. And then right now I feel very peaceful and calm. I got my peace back this, this week after not listening to wolves in sheep's clothing you know they were confusing me the last couple of days and um my peace was was going away and it was hard for me to you know discern what was happening or hearing from god so always take everything to our lord jesus okay because you know there's a lot of deception out there and he has not come yet so whoever's telling you that they're god or they're jesus and or jesus has come back and he's walking the earth guys there's nowhere in the bible that says that so please go back to his word if you have a question all right i love you guys have a great day